branches over Clan Queersech. The blood of... Hear that noise? That's Freya, grinding her teeth. <laughs> Means wars are brewing. Tent a shot on our swords. With Bran dead, who will lead you? Don't need a kink to stick it to the black ones. No reason to wait. Smithing. Pretty tiring job. Need a break, maybe? Relax a bit? Play a game or two of Gwent? Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Trial of the Path. What is it? An age-old on Skellig tradition. Young men must complete the path. Only then do they turn true warriors. So what's this path like? Old Gunner can tell you all you want to know about the path of warriors. He's the one leads the ritual. Lives at the foot of Mount Articlove. Almar, your day. He held the giant. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Greetings, stranger. Have a drink with us. Up for a few rounds of Gwent?
some other beasts? If it's Hemdal's will that we be warriors, we'll pass the trials. And oblivion to those who prove unworthy. A witcher, eh? Out of me sight. A warrior with two blades. One's more than enough for any who knows how to fight. I don't know you. You don't know me. So what's your problem? These isles were ours alone once. No foreigner dared set foot here. And if they did, they'd not return home. The good days, those. Definitely not for those unlucky enough to land here. You gunner? Who's asking? And why? I want to travel the path of warriors. No outlanders ever dared. But if you've had your fill of life, go on, try. What do I do? Paths got two offshoots. One leads into mountain peaks, the other into the bowels of the earth. Traverse both, and you'll have proved your valor. Can you tell me more about the underground path? Is it a cave of some sort? Aye, but the corridors leading to it are flooded. No continentals ever managed to swim them. Takes training since youth, a lot of diving after pearls. We'll see about that. What else? At the cavern's end, a surprise awaits. Take what you find there, bring it to me. A surprise? What kind? You'll see. So long as you get to the end. So long as the harpies don't get you. Tell me about the mountain path. It leads along the crest of Mount Arctic Clove. You'll find a crimson shawl at the peak. Bring that back as proof you've reached the path's end. Doesn't sound like much of a challenge. Clear you've not spent much time in our mountains. Well, I'm not scared to try. Not just foreign, but dumb too. Well, no cure in that. Well, run to the top of Mount Articlove. Grab the crimson shawl, then reach the cave. At its end, you'll find something I'm not about to describe. On you go then, show the world what you're worth. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? White-haired one goes to his death. Nay, no foreigner can traverse the path of warriors. No foreigners ever completed the path of warriors. First time for everything. 
Some only learn from their mistakes. Thing is, in Skellige, mistakes usually cost you your life. of power should draw from it. Pleasant place. You bring news? The path of yours wasn't easy, but I managed to get to the end. Here's proof. First outlander to complete the trial. A feat worthy of respect. I'll make sure news of your deeds spreads across the Five Isles. The favor lady...
Ram, Ram, time and again. I'll kill for some fire. Eternal fire, what This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the king. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. Witcher. Any progress? Have you found Eilhart? Wasn't where your men said, but I did find signs of someone doing medical experiments there. Oh, that's something. I think Philippa tried to restore her eyesight. Verily. Empty eye sockets suit her so much better. So, have you any proof? No, but you have my word. <laughs> your word? You give me your word? Sorry, but Eilhart herself taught me to doubt everyone, especially their word. So we've naught to talk about. Farewell. And if God in cops to me. Ah, Witcher! Greetings! Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loop's at. <laughs> <laughs> you white one, look like you got down last night. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on.
What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Van Glien consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. <laughs> I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Ciri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled Baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research. Made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. 
I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, a lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Things sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in... Not even a nice to see you jumps right into a we've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she. Ah. Now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. 
So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's got to have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep. Preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Prince. No one else has left the keep recently. Prince. What's its name? Prince. Scorpion. A goat. Beautiful animal. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench.
As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. Whereas you're getting hard of hearing in your old age. Squawking grouse could have snuck up on you. Nah, heard you panting from three miles away. Just didn't want to give up that vantage point. Good to finally see you again. Yen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Geralt, please. Cut the crap. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved this lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his marriage is full. Escalin Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Great. Let's go.
Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! Lower. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal. The old signal tower. There'll be nothing but a pile of rubble soon. some. <sighs> a power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. One cell's not enough. A portal. Power cell's missing. Need to look around.
question. We trained here as boys. Before the trial of the grasses. How about that? Seems the bastion <laughs> A witcher usually fights with a sword, silver or steel. But he must know how to use all weapons. Battle axes, picks, slingshots. Archery training today. Miss the target. You owe me 50 push-ups. Hit it. You owe me 20. Now move! What's that supposed to be? Swaying side to side like a reed in the wind? Head up! Guard up! Faster! Faster! You walked away from practice without my permission. You know that? Do not stop! Bleeding is no excuse! Now take off that bandage and get back to your training. You'll see to your wound when I say you're done. Is that a sword or an egg beater? Strike from the wrist, not your elbow. Again! Bastion's haunted by the ghost of a boy who trained here. And died here. Need to bury his remains. Maybe he'll leave then. ghost that haunts the bastion. Maybe he'll leave if I bury his bones. A horn? Something's happening. You're to hide. Wait till I come back. Yes, I know you've trained with swords. You're still shit with them. I want you behind those rocks and keep your mouths shut. Pitchfork. No massacre's complete without one. Take care, kid.
impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Want to examine it thoroughly. Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh... Bits of undigested food, a few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Wanna give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks, she only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. I'll tell you another time. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah. I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park, in more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it.
Sabola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in, then scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. from this old master down in Zeracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! I moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... Is there a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. thing we need. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Got to sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. 
I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. <laughs> 